Here are five cards using the Daisy Punch and the five new in colors for 2020 2021. Please like and check it out. Renee here, independent demonstrator, and I am trying to do a series with punches. And um, for the next month, I will be featuring a punch and different types of cards you can make with a punch. The punches that I'm using today for my first set in the series are the Daisy punches. And uh, there are two sizes and uh, they both go with the Daisy Lane um, set. The Daisy Lane is a very sweet set. Smile, friend, the best moment in my life happen with you. It's your time to shine. So these are all kinds of occasions, uh, very nice um, general um, statements and uh, really a very simple step stamp set but very handy and I'm going to show you how I use the stamp set along with the daisies. The other major stamp set that I did use uh, this time was the birds and branches, the new stamp set um, and it is um, photopolymer um, and um, a very nice stamp set and you'll see what I did. The other thing I was featuring, um, but they're just things that I used. Um, this, this, the daisy is the whole point, the daisy punches. But the other items were, was the vellum. I was uh, playing around with vellum so you could see how that works. And I used the, the, the new colors. So here is um, the first card that uh, I made and it is a birthday card and as you can see I did use the confetti uh, punch the new confetti punch and um, it is a lot of fun and you can see how you can use that confetti uh, within the card and I decided to use um, daffodil delight that is my color I did not use the new bumblebee color for the daisies, I did decide to use Daffodil Delight. So this was my first card and here, as you can see, it's a happy birthday card. The side is yellow on all these cards, the inside will be yellow and there is the stamp from the stamp set. All right, that was my first card. My second card that I built was from the birds and branches, as you can see, everything was stamped on vellum and um, I used some twine that I had from one of my kits and uh, that's the twine I used which went real well. Again, you can see that little punch. The, the, I did use, of course, on each of these, which I didn't mention, I used the Ornate Floral 3D Embossing Folder. Uh, I love this folder. I love the little confetti. And so that is featured in each of these cards as well. And here's another setup for the daisies. All right. And inside here, what we have again is a stamp with one of the flowers uh, in the Daisy Lane set. And the stem is from Daisy Lane as well. Uh, so there we go there. Then, um, as you can see, this is all pretty easy stamping on these. The next card that I did, I used from a kit from the mini catalog this summer. And um, this is another new color. It is the magenta color. And um, I just use different things to highlight how this card can be made. So the point is, is you can use your punch and you can use things from all different uh, kits and, and resources to make these cards. They're, they're very versatile. The daisy is very, very versatile. Also inside here, you see again, I stamped the top here. And of course, I stamped the hello. This did not come from this set. This came from the fern set, the hello. Then the last card that I made was in uh, another new color. 
and using again um, the stamp set, I mean the punch, and they don't have these unfortunately anymore. <clears throat> I did get two packs, Perennial Essence Floral Centers. Um, they're really fun. And so that's how this card was made. Again, you can see the vellum here used, and this is the um, Just Jade color. And um, so um, again here, simple stamping and just a little smile and then the stamping on the bottom from the stamp set and of course i did use another punch punches are really easy the little flower punch that came from our mini catalog and was carried over the sequence is from uh, a freebie from um from the mini catalog from the celebrations time period and I did use that. Um, so, I mean, if you have been uh, part of Stampin' Up, you might have some of these things to use. Otherwise, there are definitely different things that you can use. And here again is another little, these little um, sequins right here are there also. And you can see here that that twine is being used as well. All right, and so the final card that I wanted to make was in the bumblebee, was in the bumblebee color, and um, what I'm going to do is make a card um, using this paper, and um, I'm going to use the vellum again. I'm going to use the daffodil delight. These are all daffodil delights, and I am going to use the daffodil delight and vellum, and then the cinnamon cardstock is what I'm going to use. So we have the magenta, we have the cinnamon, the just jade, and the misty midnight, I believe. I don't remember the full name of the cinnamon. And uh, bumblebee is this one. Uh, so here are all our colors in that new set. All right. So um, I figured I could make this next card. I decided how I was going to make it, uh, generally speaking. Okay, so um, to get those five new colors, I'm gonna give you now the exact names. Uh, the paper that I'm using, and I bought all the rights, so I bought the five new color rights um, here. <laughs> it kind of rolls away. I did buy all five color rights, and that makes it easier for me instead of buying the stamp pads sometime to see which colors I like so that I can buy the stamp pads. Um, so, uh, and this is only $15 for all five of these, and you can use these. All the stamping you saw um, um, that, used the, that used the five in colors would have used these rights, all right? So anyway, so the bumblebee um, is called, it is the yellow is the bumblebee. And then this is just jade. I know that color. These are really rolling. <laughs> all righty. And then the cinnamon, let's see what that, cinnamon cider, that's right, it's called cinnamon cider. That's the name. And uh, I believe this is something like magenta madness, magenta madness. And then this is, I believe, the misty um, moonlight, not midnight, misty moonlight. So those are the names of those colors. So the first thing I was going to do is I was going to go ahead and uh, put in some stems. And so um, I planned out my card, obviously. And uh, I do need this. I might need this to, to block. But what I'm going to do, I, I lightly pencil marked in here where I wanted those stems so that it would be okay for me to have the flowers. And so I see that it's right there. I did not yet put, as you see, um, I did not put the backs on as of yet. Uh, I'm trying it out. Uh, some people do not, do not. so I thought I would try that out. And I think that's gonna work. And I'm gonna use just an extra, an extra daisy to make sure that it fits. So I want that daisy about there. I think I wanted it about there. So that's going to go right there. 
I think that will work. Yes, so that's where I'm going. So just to keep it in mind. Yeah, that's it. That's my spot. And so with this, all I do is I love these, these rights because something like this, which isn't too big of a surface, um, is, is pretty easy to color and use the right to ink with. So this is what I do. I think I got it all. There, I think I got it all. And now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go right on that edge. And I've got my idea here. And that'll be about there. I'm gonna stamp that. There you go. That's that one. That's great. Then my next one I marked for about here. So that's gonna work out. So I'm gonna use my just jade again, very easily, just coloring it in. Making sure I get everything, since it's already a little dark. There, I think I got it all. This one is going to go, I see that pencil mark. I see that edge, they are gonna go a little bit down, so that one should go there. That should be good. There you go, that's my next one. And then, so it's gonna go here, here, and now this one is gonna go here. So that, so that's gonna go here, so that's gonna go about here, like that. That's kind of the concept. So that means that goes right there like I have it. And again, I'm just going to color in Mostly that top portion, but I will because I know that I'm not going to have it all on there. Okay, and then right here I'm going to put this one, right about here I believe it was, and I do have to go fairly low, so right there. So that would be my third one. So there you go. Yeah, that's perfect. So it's, that is the concept of this, all right? So I do have my chamois. I do love my chamois, so I just wipe that off for now, as I always do. And then what I do, I just put them back on there, put that away, put that away. Now, this is my idea. We are gonna put the browns down first, then the yellow, which is the Daffodil Delight. It is not the same yellow. I do not want it to be the same yellow because I want it to be a little bit brighter and punchier, but yet I'm gonna put then that, um, that uh, vellum on there. See how that's gonna work? And I'm gonna have all three exactly the same, okay? So what I'm going to do is I am going to go ahead and use a dimensional for the brown ones. So I can go ahead and put that right there. Then I might as well take another brown one and put it down. Just gonna go ahead and do that. Try to center those so you don't see the white dimensional. It just kind of fits, but with the other pieces there, we should be fine. Then that goes right there. And then my third brown one, which I have, will go right here, just like that. So that's how that will be, just like that. I think that's the way I want it, yes. And so I might take a littler piece. So taking the 
dimensional, getting just getting the dimensional here. There you go. And then I kind of had the idea of the lining up. So there you go. So that's that first one. Then I'm going to glue the other ones on. So the yellow ones are going to get glued on. So that one's going to get glued on there. Like that. Oops. Whoa. That glue sometimes is too slippery for my liking sometimes. Then that one's going to go there. There you go. And then my third one, which is right here. These are the, this is the smaller punch. It's gonna go right there. And then you're gonna go right there. Then the vellums will go on top of that. And I should have three vellums. One, two, and three. There they are. I don't need those. I need these. And I am going to put that there because the good news is, now I did use the Just Jade, if you remember. That is the color I used for the stems. The... Um, I'm just offsetting the vellum just a little bit, not completely offsetting, because I kind of want to soften the yellow, but not really. I want it to pop, so it kind of gives it some dimensionality there. And the other thing now is that the centers can be, the centers could be, I should use my pick tool here. my pick tool. I could use, there's definitely different options that I have here, um, and I'm just going to show you real quick. I mean, obviously, I could use this right here. I can use this side, too. Let's use the sticky side of my pick tool. All right, so I could use this right here and put that there, which is not bad, which makes it pop. Uh, but I don't think I want it to pop that much. So as far as the centers go, I could use my daisy centers, which I do like. And uh, so I think I will. But the other thing I would use is some kind of sequence in the middle. I definitely would use a sequence in here um, I could use any sequence. I could use gold. I could use the jade little ones. Um, it's just, you know, really up to you and how you want to do this. I'm going to use these because I do have these. And so I really like these. And that'll really cuten that up. Now, whoop, that one kind of lost the hole. I lost the hole. Oh, that was interesting. It all fell apart. That's okay. Good. Good. So now you have the card. Now, um, this uh, card has a little dot here. And so... Um, I am thinking of using some kind of sequence to brighten up this card. And there are, let's see where my sequence are. There are all kinds of, oh, here's some, here's some newer gemstones. I could use, I can use the gold um, little sequence here. These are very cute sequence, and actually these also come from another pack, but have little, they're little flowers. I think that's cute. 
And so I'll just do the usual three here. And so took care of that issue. Now, there you go. And I always do like using the sequence. There's all kinds. And um, you really can use any sequence you like, especially if you have the new sequence that they have, the green sequence that comes with the uh, fern, um, the forever fern um, sweet. Those are beautiful. Um, and so you could use those. So basically, now the thing is, is that you can take a little piece of vellum and I can cut that and just use a hello. Uh, this one, um, this time, if I would do that, I literally would just cut it off. I would not use, I think that kind of looks cute, just like that. And so that you would just use the vellum just like that, a little short one. Although I think I like the tag a little bit longer because I wanted it more like right to the edge. Yeah, something just like that and just a little hello um, or a little smile. But uh, at this point, um, I wonder if I would just go ahead and put it directly on there. I could. So we could do that. Let's try that. Let's take the smile and just put the smile right up here. So again, I did not put the backs on, but I am gonna put the smile right above that little flower. That'll be really cute. And um, I am going to use the green. Again, the Just Jade. And again, this is great. Needless to say, this is fabulous. These rights really are helpful because um, you, you always have the color. I did buy the Stampin' Rights full kit. You've seen this before in my um, the Stampin' Markers, Many Marvelous Markers um, kit. And um, I do love this um, kit. Uh, I have every single stamp here. I, I think the number should be, okay, the number is, if you ever think of buying this, 147154. That is the number of this kit. All the pens that you could want. And I do have this because anytime I want to use a color, I have it. So that's the point. And so that's why sometimes with these new colors and stuff, I go ahead and try out the right because obviously I don't have it in my pack, in that Marvelous Markers pack. So, okay, so that smile came out perfectly. So this should too. There it goes. And there's your smile. And that's all there is to it. And that's the card. And um, on the inside, as you saw before, I had gone ahead and um, put down um, some kind of inside decoration, which I can do. I would keep this yellow. I wouldn't change this to uh, white. I don't see a need for that. But I am gonna do tone on tone. So I am going to use the bumblebee color and I am going to use the flower that I've been using on the inside. And that's going to be the top of it. And I do have to get fairly close. So again, here, this is, sorry, this looks a little crooked, sorry about that. Uh, again, what I'm going to do is just do this. And then all I'm going to do 
just put this down. Yeah, there's, there's that. I'm gonna go as close to the edge as possible on this because there's just enough room. There's one. There is two. This comes off a little differently, but that's okay because I'll show you what I can do, which will be just fine. And then this will be the third one at the bottom right to the edge. And there you go, three. Now, in some spots it didn't come out as nicely as I would like, or as dark as I would like. So, um, I could go ahead and just put a white card and redo that, and that would be fine. Or I wanna show you something that I have a tendency to do, something that didn't come out quite right. I'm gonna turn on the light here that I can see better. And I'm going to trace out with the fine tip of that pen. Don't know if you've seen this yet, but if you haven't, this is worth considering doing. it turns out perfect. It really is nice. I don't think that one is really too bad. Maybe a few dark lines in there, but that's it. Oh, well, maybe here a few dark lines would be more helpful. Even it out a little bit more. There you go. There you go. There, that's all it is. So um, there's this little card, very simple card, and it's the third in the set. Um, this card I did not emboss like the other ones, but that's okay. It's the third of the series. These had been pre-embossed, and I decided not to emboss this one, just so that you can see that each of these don't need to have, uh, don't need to be embossed, all right? But you can also see the difference between the embossing and the non-embossing. So very simple stamping, very simple stamping. Works really well, and you've got a great card in no time at all. So um, go to my link on the bottom to make any purchases. Uh, please like this uh, link and I'm hoping to see you in the uh, next weeks with different punches and featuring these different punches. Okay, thank you. Bye-bye.